What's going on, everyone? Hopefully, everyone had a good Tuesday trading day. And I just wanted to go over something real quick. I know that obviously you have your capital that you trade with, right? But there's definitely also mental capital. And I just wanted to, I wanted to touch on this. So as far as you know, some of the trades that I took today, I ended up uh, trading Nvidia, Baba, EFX, sixty-two bucks on the day. You know, pretty much a flat day, right? Made like a, a tank of gas. So on this EFX, you know, this thing had, had gapped down, figured there was some more downside. This thing had a push up in the morning and then rolled over. There was a nice area of support at uh, 103. And then when this thing broke, I ended up taking it short. And then, um, you know, kind of did this little, you know, it peaks its head or, you know, it peaks below a whole number and then recovers, right? And sometimes I've seen that they squeeze. So because I like to trade momentum, if these things don't break down fast, I like to bail. So I ended up, um, you know, taking a four cent win on this. So just basically, you know, scratch trade. And then um, I ended up, you know, trading NVIDIA. I got, um, I'll go to the, the, the light speed chart. I ended up taking uh, a couple trades on it, just like, you know, real quick scalp. So this big move in the morning, I ended up missing because I was, I was around for the first hour and then I left. So when I came back, I saw a lot of stuff had moved down and kind of got FOMO. I was like, man, missed a lot of the big moves. So then I kind of hung around, didn't really see any setups. And then finally I took, you know, a trade that I basically stopped break even. And then I ended up getting like 30 cents on the trade, just, you know, real small wins. And then I ended up trading uh Bobo where I got just like a tiny win. But basically, you know, I missed a lot of the big moves, uh, you know, initially where there was short opportunity uh, opportunities in these names. And then, you know, I started, I was sitting around and I was watching and I kind of felt my mental capital start to go, right? Like I felt my focus kind of, you know, almost starting to like, you start to overanalyze a chart because, and I know that it's all about discipline, but at the same time with myself and anybody else who's watching, you know, there's only so much time I can sit in front of these screens before my brain kind of starts to go, all right, I'm kind of over it. I'm just not my style and my, you know, personality. And the great thing with trading is you got to figure out what works for you is I can't sit in front of the screens all day. I like to trade the first, call it the first hour to an hour and a half where there's plenty of opportunities. And then, you know, either I've done well or you kind of realize, all right, that's just, you know, that's the day and you call it. But, you know, just wanted to let, you know, kind of everyone know how I felt is I kind of started to feel a little like mentally like checked out. And I know that those are the times when I have traded my absolute worst. When you're staring at a chart and then you start to overanalyze it a bit, right? You start to like see things that aren't there and then you start to to just get, you know, a little nuts. You got to you gotta realize that you're in that spot. And I'm doing the video because, you know, I've done this a lot and there's times where I still need to work on it. But I did it today where I took a couple trades, you know, and then finally started realizing that I was trading not the best setups. And then felt like, you know, felt my mental capital going, right? Like my attention was was definitely way off compared to the morning. And then the focus was a little off. And I just said, you know what? As much as I want to sit here and click the buttons and make as much money as I possibly can, there's a time and a place. And I was able to walk away. Initially, you know, there's plenty of times where I still struggle with this. But that's the one thing that I did good today. And just kind of wanted to share this video. Because if anybody else struggles with that or if you feel yourself you know, kind of a place where mentally you feel a little, you know, whether you're stressed out or you're just kind of getting a little exhausted because you've been staring at the screens for so long, whatever it is that's your trading style, you got to recognize when that mental capital is totally depleted and you got to just call it a day. Walk and regardless if you're down a little bit or you're up a little bit, just walk and then realize that there's another day. It was not easy for me to walk. Of course, I wanted to continue to trade to make money, but I also realized that you know, just being green at the end of the day is better than a lot of people. And I recognized that I was just losing focus and I called it and, you know, s you know, stay alive for another day. Right. And that's the whole, that's the whole point of this. Just stay alive to see another day. And until you can get to a point where, you know, things are, you know, you're doing really well. So that's it. Quick little video. Just wanted to share that because I don't know if, you know, obviously, if, if you're kind of in that spot, you're not the only person who's feeling like that. And you just have to, you got to, you got to know yourself. You got to recognize when you're just out of the game and then bail and don't have that feeling to overtrade and be able to just control the emotions, which is very difficult in trading. 
but you got to just slowly work on it and try to get better at it every single day. So that is it. Hopefully your trading day went well, and I will see you later.